today's Monday and um, I have a few things to say regarding, well, I'll just go right away first. I want to say that um, if you're wondering why I have not made a statement yet on KSD, please, please, please know that it is coming. Uh, I do not want to be another white person just putting something up online that is an empty action. My words must have body behind them. I do not want to be someone that could just call my administrator and make an image with words for a statement of our support for black bodies in crisis, in trauma, in violence that has been going on for hundreds of years because of white supremacy and the dominant white culture. Now, to my white friends out there who have been making statements, I love you. I know you, I know your heart. But I wanna make sure that I am moving and speaking from the eye of my heart and not the eyes of my head, frantically fragmenting and disembodied from the embodiment of real action and real change. This work is not new to me. If any of you have been listening to any other things I've posted, if you watched my fundraising video, in fact, go look at the fundraising video if you want to know a little bit about what I'm going to be saying and sharing, please do not, do not, do not, do not donate to KSD right now. We did not do any fundraising this spring and do not donate right now. If you wanna give money, there are so many organizations, so many people out there. You could reach out to one of my dancers and send them money directly, one of my black dancers. I, I don't like that, my black dancer, my dancers, my team members, the humans that work alongside me in creativity and collaboration. Please do something else. I am working deeply on some words that I want to share with my white family, friends, and strangers. Um, those words will be coming. I uh, am in a deep space of prayer and fasting, focusing on my family, in communication, in listening, reading and watching, absorbing, and seeking to be a part of the big movement, the big love. Some people call it God. There are many names and no names. I'm trying to walk my dog. G-O-D, D-O-G. It's, it's kind of hard to talk and pull her along and be pulled by her. Oh, thanks for that levity, God. Big movement, dog. Um, the big movement. We've got to get beyond our own individual pains and sufferings, white people. We, me included, this has been the work. That's what I was talking about with the fundraiser video. I was very raw and real about my own, a little bit of my own journey. Um, some more deeper stories of the work that my husband and I and with our daughters have been trying to do throughout our 20 plus years together. Some of you don't know, my oldest is a freshman in college and we have two other younger daughters. Uh, we lived in Oakland at a point in our lives, um, in our 20s, trying to be a part of, trying to not be part of the white enclave. And, you know, it was clear, I won't speak for my husband, but it was clear to me back in my 20s that I still had so much work to do. 
to undo my white heritage in my body. And the work will continue. And I think that part of my journey and my purpose is to exhort, to encourage, to push, to compel, to scream and yell at <laughs> my white brothers and sisters to start doing more of the work. If we want to make collective change, if we want to heal the trauma and the crisis of black bodies for black bodies, change and dismantle this history in our country that has not been atoned for to help bring in reparations, we must start facing our dysfunction junction and get back into a web of goodness, a web of love, a web of connection, a web of healing and wholeness. This is not to guilt you into feeling badly about your own pain. But if you can't start dealing with the pain that you have with your own father, for example, then how can you truly do the good work for your own father that may not have said, I love you enough? Then how can you truly do the good work for the children and their fathers, the black children and the black fathers who can't take a deep breath on a daily basis. So I'm going to sign off and just say that I have a lot to say and it's coming, but we need to put body and action behind our words. We need to check our own hearts and our own ambitions for power and control, our own fears to let go of that power and control. We need to embrace humility oh, there's so much to say there that I said I would let it go. Thank you for listening to anything I've ever had to say on KSD. Um, but I'm a white person and if you're a white person, if you, I encourage you to go listen to other voices that are not mine as well. I appreciate that you might listen to something I have to say and I appreciate for any of you that have been encouraged by my work. Um, But we have to start doing more. And it starts in small and big ways. And it starts in your own body, not just your mind, your whole body. And I'll be talking more about that in the days and the weeks to come. Um, if anything that I've said seemed off in any way, please PM me. Please don't write anything on the social medias. Please reach out to me directly. Build a relationship with me. Let me know if something I said didn't come out right. Yeah. Rest and action, we need both. Grief and anger, we need both and all of them need to be in the big love. Reach for that big love in your bodies.